TV Entertainment with our bow. season and it's getting really dark. <laughs> Welcome to the premiere of Living in Bondage and the theme for tonight is Zimon and Diamonds and everything here looks pretty scary for a minute but don't worry don't be scared. If you watch this movie in the 90s you would know what it is about. A lot of aquatic stuff brought to the table and we are more excited that there is a sequel and this is Ramsey Noir's directorial debut and it's got a lot of amazing people put this work together from Bob Manuel to a lot of other actors and you know what? I can't wait to see this one because in the 90s I was pretty scared but I want to see how scared I'm going to be tonight watching the sequel of Living in Bondage. You know we're going to bring you amazing interviews of people who have come out to see this movie and members of the cast. Don't go nowhere. This is in the Love Hadmas TV and my name is Elisha Moyosara Lua. And all time favorites. Richard, yeah. Amazing party you have What do you know about Richard Williams? The six. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a serious night. Demons and Diamonds is still the season of Halloween. I know I dress like Halloween every day and I'm like a horror movie. So yes, I came out here prepared to rumble, but of course I'm more excited about the movie that I want to see. It did come out perfectly. Did you see this movie, Living in Bondage, in 1992? Are you kidding me? It was the scariest shit ever. 1992, it was two hours, 45 minutes, I think, because it was quite lengthy. Yeah. Part one and part two. The soundtrack was scary. I grew up in one room with my siblings. We had to save up so much to get a VCR. And I would say that this movie revolutionized the home video industry in Nigeria. And then from there, we were able to buy other home videos. But ah, it was as scary as heck. I don't want to be scared tonight, but let's see. All right, so tonight we're talking about Demons and Diamond, and that's the theme for the premiere of Living in Bondage. And Shay does look like a demon. <laughs> are you doing it tonight? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Very well, too. It's good to have you come out tonight. You did you see this movie in 1992? Yes, I did. Uh, uh, I super it, might been, it might not have been 92 exactly, because I think I was about like three, four, five. I know I definitely saw the movie because I saw it with my elder ones and I'm sure they use it to scare the living day like other men at the time. <laughs> Alright now, having this come back as a sequel, I mean the old occultic thing, how does it make you feel? I mean I'm happy because a remake for a Nigerian movie is something that hardly ever happens. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to getting my mind blown out and for us to push more Nigerian content out there and putting ourselves on the map, yes. I mean, I'm looking forward to great things. We are too. And yes, having uh, Ramsey Noir direct this one, what did you think? I mean... I expect great stuff. I mean, look at who's di directing it. A great guy. So what do you think? Great stuff now. If we go down, you go down. You are in grave danger. And a minute, they start to inch close. I snap their necks. When you take, you give. It's the order of things. This is no f***ing game. Uh, let us just say I've always been a fan, you know, right from the very first one that was made in 1992. Yeah. I've always been a fan, you know, so I'm here. First of all, I'm excited at the fact that it's Ramsonora directing. I'm excited at the fact that it's his directorial debut, you know, and, you know, I'm here to look out for the, his touch into it, you know. I mean, you, you decided to put it in my face like 1992, <laughs> taking us all the way back, right. right? Do you feel some kind of way to have this return? No. At all. I mean, we want things like this to happen. We even want more. Like, I actually want something. That hopefully, the next one that will be um, up should be violated. <laughs> Did it get to violated? Right. Okay, now let's talk about the fact that they decided to go on this journey and then now we're here to sit. What are you looking forward to? Um, like I said, everything. You know, um, most especially now that we have better cameras, better sound, better location, and all of that. I'm here to look out for Ramses' touch into it. 
Um, I know there's a twist into it because you remember Kaneo Kaneo was a killer at that time. Now he's like a reverend in this one. So, you know, we're here for all the surprises. How was it like being a member of, uh, you, you're one of those who put a little bit of input on this particular movie. How does that make you feel? Um, I feel good about it. And at the same time, putting up this work it was kind of interesting and at the same time challenging. I had a lot of headache from everybody, the whole living bondage members. and. But it was nice. It came out good at the end of it. It was nice. Did you see this movie in 1992? Yes, I did. Ah. Very well. So now that we have a sequel, does it bring any kind of nostalgic oh, feeling? Of course, of course, of course. Of course it does. Of course it does. But at the same time, I'm very happy that they could do a remake for it. And um, the remake is mad. You know the funny thing about my fit is the, hard, the hardness to find this. This was the hardest part of the outfit. So it took us like three days. Because every time I say, oh, I just need lantern, they would say, ah, oh, Shaya, will you be money? <laughs> Your wife gave bait. I said no. So we um, had to go to Lagos Market today to actually go find it. And um, yeah, I'm happy that we got it. I mean, it's it's like the most creative part of everything put together. Let's talk about the movie. Did you see the living in bondage in 1992? You want the truth or the lie? The truth. I feel like a lot of people have been lying. Um, I didn't really see it. I like, you know, when you see a movie, but didn't really because I was young. I mean, 27 years ago was a long, long time. Some of these guys were not born. Uh, but I did watch a part of it, so now I want to actually watch it, watch it. Um, I want to pay attention to the story and then, you know, see how, how it actually is. And you're loud, and you're loud, and you're loud. Let me call you the way they'll call them in Living in Bondage. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Living in Bondage tonight. And of course, this is Anyola Badmas TV, the brand that puts a full stop at the top spot. The under promise was over deliver. And then, of course, Anyola, this cloth, I'm keeping it for you. Wag bow, wag bow. Hi guys, my name is Gwen Rajabadi. I'm an actor, model, producer. I'm currently on the red carpet of Living in Bondage, the sequel. You're watching Any of Badmos TV. Keep it locked and don't move your muscle. Hello everybody, what's going on? It's Sukre Papito, man, you know, Shane. And you're keeping it live on Any of Badmos TV. Enjoy. What's up guys, my name is Bolly Lama. You're tuned to Any of Badmos TV. Don't talk that down, keep it locked. Yaga. To get your key? <laughs> what key, sir? Because it's Ramsey. <laughs> <laughs> but for real? It's because it's bringing back memories for old time's sake. <laughs> so, yeah, I, have to, I had to be here to give him that honor and to encourage him because Living in Bondage was a masterpiece. And the story till date hasn't gone completely out of our memory. And then he now, he's not taking us back memory lane again. and. I want to believe he's done some sort of magic with the storyline. It's such a deep, deep, deep message and yeah. I know you have a thousand and one things to say about Ramsey Noir, oh, but yeah. I will still ask you, knowing that this is his director, uh, directorial debut, yeah. how does that make you feel? Um, yes, it's, it's, it, he, he's come of age. I mean, we all have come of, of age, but you see, um, at some point in your life, you have to define what path you want to, you want to, um, uh, you know, what, what, part of your life you want to focus on and he's done all the acting he's done all the producing now he wants to begin to direct his films and I think it's a, it's a loadable cause for him each and every one of us will begin to visit other areas of interest in terms of um, the, you know in terms of your career so yeah it's a loadable cause and I want to be in the next one, Ramsey. <laughs> Congratulations to Ramsey. Um, yes, he can do this. He was there. He was around then. He's still around and very much a star now and a fantastic and versatile actor as well. So, hey, I would like to see what he does. And I've been on set with him. I know how he is with continuity and camera angle. So, yes. I'm here. I'm here for this. I'm here. For this. All right. Knowing that this movie has taken some time now, like 27 years, do you think this is right for this time and this age? No time like God's time. If, if it wasn't the right time, God won't let it happen. So hey, let's just have faith, go in, watch and enjoy the movie. Alright, so what are you particularly looking forward to in this movie? The, the um, combination of seasoned and the young actors. The story itself, you know, being, being a remake of the old one, the story, I mean I've seen the trailer. It is very spectacular. Key to the good life. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think we've had really enough Nigerian sequels. I think Wedding Party 2 is like the only official sequel. Yes, we know Nollywood, we've had the part one, part two, part three, but you know, actually a sequel, this is big. I don't think people are realizing like what is happening today. Like I think it's our people think our film, you know, no, it's, it's, a big, it's a big deal. This team from the direction to the producers to the actors, they have done something for Nollywood today. Like there's no... This is it. We're only going to propel from now on. So I'm just so excited for them. All right. Looking at the fact that uh, for the first time, Ramsey Noir is going to direct a movie. Yeah. Does that give you any thrill? Of course. I mean, Ramsey Noir is a he's an old guy in the industry now. Like, what, what are you saying? He has worked with so many directors, worked with so many producers, worked with so many actors and actresses. So it's great to see him actually directing and, you know, encouraging his fellow actors on how to do everything. For me, what's even more exciting is imagine like, if you were on that set. People that you grew up, you know, watching. People who are like your mentors, you're now with them on set. It's amazing. This is just like, this is a big deal for me. Like, this is, this is it. I'm excited. For me, it's a hit. I don't blue. That's it. Trust me. How was it working on this movie? Funny enough, it, it, it was not much of a stress. I, I think Ramsey did a great job. Like, you know, Ramsey had the right words to make you get into character. And that was it. Trust me, the cast and crew, on point. What character did you play? I played Uzoma. You are you an occultic fellow too? No, 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 no. I brought the court down. <laughs> yes. You heard it from here. <laughs> but David, yeah. you know, you've been doing a lot of movies. Would you say this one stands out for you? Yeah, this is a classic. I mean, this is living in bondage. Living in bondage. Don't you get it? And they can't call you somebody confusion inside. Ah, uh, no, this is a standout bond. They stand out like I'm, I'm privileged to be on it. Hi guys, I'm David Jones. David, keep watching and you're not bad. Most TV. Hi, my name is Mona Lisa Chinda Coca, and you're watching El Niola Bad Most TV. Keep watching. Hi, my name is Anto Lucky, and keep on watching El Niola Bad Most TV. We always wanted more. You felt you were never really where you were meant to be. Come on, we go. Look at this life. You know, if this is a sequel. I mean, it's been a long time we had the old occultic movie come to play, and having people from that uh, past, from the past, come again to bring us this amazing one, yeah. Bob Manuel, Ramsey, and the likes. How does it make you feel? <laughs> it's it, it's nostalgia on steroids. <laughs> Nostalgia on steroids, and I'm so happy for Ramsey Noah, you know, because it's it's not an easy transition to make from actor to director, and this is a daring transition. He has he has a heart of he has the heart of a lion, and you know he went for it, and I respect that. Feels good to see you come out for this movie premiere. How does it make you feel? Um, it's my first movie premiere and I'm excited about it because he, um, Ramsey is somebody I look up to and him producing this movie is really exciting. I can't wait to watch it. Yeah. You say look up to, does that sound, does that, uh, you know, mean that you look up to him in line with acting? Yeah, in line with acting and the fact that he's producing now because um, I think I want to produce my own movie someday um, and he's a great actor. Mr. Richard, yeah, amazing party you have here. I know you have so much rushing inside of you. Your director uh, debut, you took, you're taking us down line of 27 years. I know, I know, yeah. Why did you decide to go on this journey? Um, Charles Okpeleke gave birth to the idea, and then I picked it up from there and decided I, could, I was going to direct it and put it to work. And um, it was quite a workload working. You know, being a director and a, a, an actor on set, but I'm glad I had a good, I had good hands. You know, the support like Steve Gukas was um, the producer. He also supported like a director on set with me too, likewise. So yeah, it was a soft pedal for me, a soft landing. I mean, so yeah, that really helped push us to actualize this. When you talked about it, knowing that Charles first mentioned this to you, were you really anxious going on the journey with him? No, 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 no. I, f I felt like it was a brilliant idea and that we should try it. I, lo I love challenges. I like to take, I like to take the bull by the horn. Mm. And um, when it happened, I was like, yeah, we can make it happen. And everyone was thinking, oh my God, Ramsey, can you really do this? Like, this is not like small task. I'm like, don't worry about it. There's nothing I can't do. 
We are here and we're ready to see it. Finally, tell everyone why they should come see this movie. Yeah, well, every time they throw that question at me, I can't give you why you should come see the movie. What I did was I gave you a teaser and I gave you a trailer. It endeared you and I know it will make you come. So when you do come, now I want to hear what you think about the movie. Right. 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 Right.